biggest pre-training open data set. It's a data set with 30 trillion tokens, not million, not billion. It is 30 trillion tokens with which you can train large language models completely from scratch. Any large language model requires data set for it to be trained on and this data set from Together.ai Red Pajama Data V2 provides you with that opportunity to have the biggest pre-training data set. Let's understand more about what this data set offers. First of all, this is a Red Pajama data set. This comes with 30 trillion filtered and deduplicated tokens. It has got over 100 plus trillion raw data and it is from 84 common crawl dumps. If you are not familiar with common crawl, you can go to commoncrawl.org to understand more about what is common crawl and what is it trying to do here. So that is what together.ai has used to build this data set. It covers five languages with 40 plus pre-computed data quality annotations for which we will see some examples. First of all, uh, Red Pajama as a data set was released some time back, the 1 trillion data set and that has been downloaded more than 190,000 times and it has been used in a lot of different ways. You can go to the Hugging Face model hub and then see what kind of data sets, what kind of models, what kind of Hugging Face spaces have been built using this. It's quite uh, incredible to see how people use data sets and uh, now the latest one that what they've released as the Red Pajama Data V2, it has been built over 100 billion text tokens, text documents. It has got over 100 plus trillion raw tokens and uh, just not the raw tokens, they've decided to share the filtered deduplicated data set as well. All the data are available on Hugging Faces data set hub. So you can directly go there and then start using it. It is all available for you. It also comes with certain uh, filtering scripts which you can use to filter whatever you want. For example, Gopher is a rule that is used to understand the data sets. So if you want to filter only the data set, data set within the data or data within the data set, you can say that, okay, I want to f filter only the data set that follows, that complies with the rules of Gopher then you can just use the script and get it done. It's as simple as that. So you don't have to have the entire data set downloaded for you to do that. So that is one very good advantage of using this particular data set. This data set, it comes with some quality annotations. It uses the CCNet pipeline that has been built by Meta as far as I know. Yeah, it is from Facebook research. So it uses that pipeline, CCNet pipeline, and you they have given you over 40 widely used quality annotations for the head and middle buckets. What are the head and middle buckets? So in a data set, you have got head, middle and tail. In a distribution, you have got the head, middle and tail. And uh, this data set gives you that opportunity for you to filter only the head, middle and tail. So typically, if you see something like a tail distribution, you would see that it has got lesser documents. Like in this case, you can see it is the document size is smaller, but on the head and middle, which is what people usually consider because that gives you the signal to build a large language model that having a tail. So they give you this opportunity for you to download this and filter this. The data set follows this structure. You've got like um, the document and then the time and you've got the head, middle and all the other items. While they have done the filtering and deduplication, they have not removed it completely. They have labeled it so that you can go filter it if you want or if you want, you can keep it. So this is how the data set distribution looks like. The head, middle, tail partition, it has 113.3 billion documents and over 123.7 trillion tokens. If you want only the head and middle, it is 32.8 billion documents and 50.7 trillion tokens. And if you want to further deduplicate it, that is 20.8 billion documents with 30.4 trillion tokens. And the way they have done deduplication is using Bloom filter, which is a popular technique that basically reduces the data set size by 40%. And you can still see that it has got the only bummer I would say like on this particular data set that this data set has got only five languages at this point. It does not have a lot of, uh, 
low resource languages so that is something that you know if you are expecting languages uh, that are not very popular you might like find it a uh, slightly awkward but um, anyways that's what we have got like we have got english french spanish german and italian so it has got specifically only these five languages but not any other language but the good thing is the together.ai team has mentioned that they uh, they want to keep this as a living data set that means they want to continuously grow the pool enrich the data set with additional domains new time snapshots so that you know you always can build a large language model that is latest current and has got the most updated details that is available they have also planned to add more quality annotations like something like contamination annotation against popular llm benchmarks so you can basically filter out these values when you build the data set and if you watching this video or if you are if you know people who would be probably building models with this data set together.ai wants to get in touch with you or you probably should get in touch with them so that you can explore collaborative opportunities to build large language models on top of these data sets now coming about license this data set has got the common crawl license you can go here and then search about the common crawls terms of use and the scripts that they use to build the data set come with the apache 2.0 license so if you were to use common crawl data set from ground up if you want you can use their scripts that will probably help you if you want to see the distribution split of the languages that is also available so english is somewhere about like 14.5 billion documents 20 trillion tokens and german french uh, spanish and italian follows further i guess overall this is a very great achievement from the community to have an open data set that everybody would probably use to build maybe like open ai level large language models we have all known that gigo garbage in garbage out the higher the quality of data set the better the large language model in doing certain tasks better coverage better knowledge i think this is a tremendous opportunity for more people to jump in and build quality foundational models or in open ai language frontier models to build large language models with a really good high quality higher level of data set uh, when i say high quality i'm primarily um, alluding to the fact that this is deduplicated and filtered doesn't mean everything in this data set is absolutely high quality and that's where the concept of synthetic data data filtering and all the other things come into picture anyways i hope this video has helped you knowing about probably the biggest open data set that is available to build large language models if you have got any question let me know in the comment section otherwise all the required link including the blog post announcement the red pajama models and the data set on hugging faces data set hub will be in the youtube description for you to check it out